Ryan, your your son, I saw, just got his first big acting gig, which, by the way, I cannot believe that you have an 18-year-old son. You look like you're 20 yourself. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. What kind of fountain of youth have you been you tapped? <laughs> um, I don't, it's really exciting. I mean, you know, when you, being a parent is so rewarding, and it really is, like, um such an adventure and to see him at this point in his life where he's about to look to launch his music career and he's doing a bit of acting and going to college like it's really it's a lot of fun so we're kind of on vacation right now in delaware we just did a big fishing trip today i'm trying to get like all of this like um extracurricular activity out of the way before college starts uh, the end of this month so oh my gosh yeah that's some special times you already got a fishing trip in before this press junket Yes, I've been up since 4 a.m. So he's a super dad. Super dad. Yeah. (laughs) Congratulations on Collide. It's gripping. It's dark. I love it. Um, What did you like about the script and your characters? And Ryan, I'll start with you on that question. Well, you know, I I love movies that have intersecting storylines that ultimately somehow collide and, and kind of like end up in a in a, in a similar place. So, and I've been a part of, I've been lucky enough to be a part of those, you know, crash was a film like that in some ways too, where you had these stories that, you know, were very kind of like diverse and then kind of ended up, you know, crossing each other. And so that was appealing to me and coming into it without really knowing Kat and knowing that the first time we met, we'd be sitting down together working on these scenes was interesting to me. And so um, I just thought the writing was good and I, I believed in the director and wanted to work with Kat. Absolutely. And Kat, how about you? Uh, you tell me Ryan Philippi in a restaurant <laughs> and I, I am in. I don't care what the script is. Um, I know. The script was amazing. That was the first thing that I always look at. I don't really pay attention to much else because if it's not in the script, there's not, I could be the best actor in the world, but it won't cut. So um, that was the first thing. I really loved the character. I liked where the character was from. I liked the backstory. I wanted to do something um, where I got to play an unhinged woman. Um, Some of my favorite actresses have done that in a really great way. I love films like Ryan's movie Crash and, and other films that focus on these characters that are intertwined and have this commonality of of pain so I really I really loved it it was it was a cool adventure and and I had never done anything like this uh, in the indie space so it was it was a challenge I also knew it was going to be incredibly difficult for me I knew that Ryan was a a sick actor Um, and I it was the whole experience looking at it felt very intimidating for me so I had to do it. Well, there's aspects to it that felt like doing a play or something because the environment that we were in, you know, was the restaurant, is a restaurant. And because we were shooting in sequence, it really felt kind of theatrical in some ways. Yeah. And it was it was like the intensity, the close ups and like, Kat, you could really get into it. Like you could really get into like seeing your emotion play out on screen. Safe to say, this is one of the worst blind dates that I've ever seen. <laughs> right. Hashtag worst date ever. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but I'm going to get a little personal with you guys. Have you guys ever been on a blind date before? And how did it go? Has anybody ever tried to set you up with somebody? I've never been on a blind date. I actually no. never like, really dated. Like I would have friends and we would end up together and then we're living together. Like I've <laughs> never been like, hey, you want to go on a date? Like I've just right. never... <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, and also I don't think I trust anyone enough to co-sign for a blind date. Um, I'm too particular. I, I just I can't I can't trust anyone else. <laughs> I've tried to set my friends up on blind dates before, and it is blown up in my face. Right, Absolutely. right, right. Yeah, Pat, So you're taking on the role of April in <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, did you watch the show growing up? Like that's kind of a dream. I did. I did. I loved Ninja Turtles. I was always a fan. Um, And the fact that they decided to make April O'Neil black and said, you should play her was just wild. Just wild. You know, to watch a show, um, to be on a show that you grew up watching. I love the turtles. Yes, me too. I mean, are you also on tour, by the way? I am. Oh my God. (laughs) 
How do you fit it all in? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Naps, snacks. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.